Today we are taking a little tour of Spotswood. Buckle up as we check out some of the developments here in town. Here we go! My name is Claudia Muniz. I'm a real estate agent with Move With Muniz, brokered by eXp Realty. If you're new to my channel, I discuss everything about central New Jersey real estate. From details about different locations, how the process works, tips and tricks, plus some interviews with some of my favorite vendors. Do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss next week's video. If you watched my video on the top seven reasons you should move to Spotswood, you may already know that we have quite the variety in housing options. If you have not yet taken a look at that, feel free to check out the link above. Now let's get this tour started. This condo neighborhood is called Brookview Terrace. Inside these garden style condos built in 1964 exist one and two bedroom layouts. Within the last two years, as of August, 2021, there have been 16 properties sold ranging between $77,000 and $155,000. Their HOA fees of $275 per month include water, sewer, garbage, gas heat, snow removal, and the maintenance of the on-site laundry facility. Each unit ranges between around 650 square feet to about 900 square feet. The two bedroom units rent for about $1,700 a month and the one bedroom units rent out for about $1,300 a month. These units have electric stoves and window air conditioning units, but they're definitely an affordable option for New Jersey living. When you leave this neighborhood, you'll find yourself not far from some of these places, including Easy Mart, a nail salon, a hair salon, cabaret, fast kicks, regards, a liquor store, a Manhattan bagel, and more. As you head up the road, you'll find some other places such as a Greek restaurant, a Goddard School, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, until you finally reach the ShopRite Shopping Plaza. Aside from ShopRite, you'll find a Chinese food restaurant, another liquor store, an Italian restaurant, Jersey Mike's, another nail salon, and a Carvel. Right behind the ShopRite is this townhome development called Summerhill Village. Since it is located right next to the ShopRite, you'll have easy access for your groceries and it's not far from Route 18. One of the biggest concerns of buyers today is storage space. If you share that concern, you're in luck because some of these townhomes are equipped with basements and garages, making this development a huge bang for your buck. These units were built in 1983 and range from about 800 to about 1300 square feet. In the last two years, there have been 20 homes sold here, all ranging between $146,000 all the way to $320,000. When you leave this development to head back towards Main Street, you'll see these homes to your right. I wasn't lying about the variety of housing styles and in size. Further down Summerhill Road, you'll find Spotswood High School, the Municipal Building, and Wave of Motions Dance School. Apparently, the day I filmed this, every FedEx driver wanted dance lessons. As we keep heading down the road, you'll see one of my favorite restaurants, MJ's, and a Walgreens. We do have an Exxon station in town for all your refueling needs, as well as a Dunkin' Donuts right next door. With the Dunkin', there's also a few other restaurants, a UPS store, a Kumon Learning Center, a tanning salon, and more. We do have our own post office a little further up the road, a couple banks, and most importantly, a Ralph's ice cream place. If you go straight past the Ralph's, you'll find a fork in the road. If you go towards the right, you'll head down Snow Hill Street, which will lead you to Brunswick Ave, or further down, you'll see Parkside Estates. Parkside Estates is another condo development where some of the layouts have awesome features, such as basements and garages. Some of these models are on a slab. These homes were built in 1996 and are about 1,600 square feet. Most of the units here are three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and within the last two years, seven homes have sold here, ranging between 267,000 
and to just shy of 300,000. They're currently renting around 2,500 per month. Had you gone to the left in the fork in the road earlier, you'd be heading towards Clearwater Village. This is the 55 and older development in town. These homes are considered mobile homes, so instead of paying taxes, you'll pay a land lease included in your monthly homeowners association dues. These will run you about $800 a month. In the last two years, 12 of these properties were sold, ranging from $15,000 to $225,000. As you leave Clearwater Village and head back to the lake, you'll pass another one of my favorite restaurants, Otilia's, which is Portuguese barbecue. Isn't the lake so pretty? It'll look even better when the orange barrier is removed. Passing the lake, you can turn onto Mundy Ave, and on the corner is Mundy Ave Park. To the left, you'll have the cottage streets, and to the right, you'll have the tree streets. This area is nicknamed the cottage streets with street names like Brookview, Brookwood, Landvale, and Red Bank. It is said that these homes were originally built as bungalow vacation properties for DeVoe Lake. Since then, people have made modifications to their homes. The smallest style home in this area is two bedroom, one bath, and around 700 square feet. Most homes in this area do contain basements, which some people elect to finish for some additional living space. This area is nicknamed the Tree Streets, with street names like Elm, Fernhead, Pine, Walnut, and Maple. I just love how there's so many different types of homes here. Well, that's all for today's tour, folks. This tour does not encompass all of the lovely areas within Spotswood. There's definitely more places to see in town. If you would like more information on this area and what it's like to live here, feel free to reach out to me via the Zoom link below or check out the buyer guide in the description box. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. See you guys then. Oh, <laughs>